All right, tonight we're looking at this DC to DC step down converter. It's a pretty big one. It uh, does oh, up to, what's it say on here, 36 to 96 volts. It says on here that it will step down to 12 volts, so that's a pretty wide range. This one's pretty nice. They give you a, uh, a connector for it, which is pretty rare with these uh, buck converter modules, and it has a fused input, and all of the inputs and outputs are labeled pretty well, so that's a, that's a pretty good step up in overall quality. I would say over most of the ones that I've used in the past, these two big ones are your output wires. I'm going to take the insulation off ends of those a little bit. More if I want to be even. Might not get it even. That's okay. And then the smaller red and black are the inputs, and the yellow is a trigger wire that, uh, according to the directions, you can just put the red and yellow together, and uh, that will work if you're not going to do a switch for it. So. Let's see, I've got a voltmeter here. I'm going to try to do this safely. Try is the keyword. I'm going to put positive lead to the voltmeter on the output ends over here. Try and keep them good and separated. We'll keep an eye on that. We're not going to pull any current through this, so even still, I don't really want to short anything out. And for a source, I have this large tool battery here. Let me just grab another multimeter so that'll be easier. And just show you um, this this large tool battery over here. Got a couple of little chunks of metal on the inputs. Let's see. Yeah, I gotta step up the scale. So it is. It is a 54 volt tool battery, give or take, or 52, 54, it's advertised, so just about 54 volts in that uh, battery pack there. And we're going to try to step to 12 here, try to do it carefully without creating a fireball. There's a fuse over there on the input end, but that may not help me with the a quick little bench setup. So I'm putting the red and the yellow together here as per their instructions. I'm just going to sneak around and put that on the positive side. And that just leaves me with the negative end, which I will gingerly... There might be some big capacitors in here, so if we get a little spark, I won't be surprised, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, there's usually some big caps in these converters, but that's not concerning. So, like we saw, it's a 54 volt tool battery. We're getting 12.99 volts on the output, basically um, a 13 volt output. That's, uh, for my liking, just about perfect. That's fantastic. And it's supposed to be able to do 20 amps with these nice thick output wires, I suspect uh, that's probably doable. The input wires are a little on the thin side, but they still, they appear to be about an 18 gauge, so that should be just fine. So if you're wondering, actual output voltage, about 13, at least with a 54-ish volt input there, that could vary up and down a little bit depending on the actual input voltage that you give it and since we know there's probably some big capacitors in there you be careful with these wires for a little bit uh, might take a while for those caps to drain down but overall uh, that looks great really good quality with the connector for quick removal fused input good thick heavy I think that looks like 12 gauge wire for the output I kind of wish that the input wires were beefier too. I don't see any markings on them, but they look like they're 
probably a 16 gauge. Yeah, I'm gonna guess they're in the range of like a 16 gauge for the input wires, so they're heavy enough for the task for 20 amps that this is supposed to be able to output, so that should be fine. Looks really nice. This is one of the nicest, uh, nicest units that I've probably seen. Heavy duty, all aluminum, all encased with a splash or waterproof wire nut thing going on over there. Uh, 13 bolts, I like that. This is good.